All right, so today we're diving into something pretty interesting. Okay, I'm intrigued. Have you ever heard of a stable coin that's not pegged? To like the US dollar? Exactly, to yeah. any fiat currency. Whoa, okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a new one. It is, and that's what we're exploring today. Okay, let's hear it. Athena and its native token, ENA. It's been making some noise in the crypto world. Yeah, I've seen some buzz around ENA for sure. So what makes it so different? Well, maybe you can kick us off here. Sure, I think, so you see most stable coins try to maintain a stable value. Right, by pegging themselves to something like the US dollar. Exactly, that's yeah. the traditional model. But it comes with limitations. And Athena's found a way around that. They have, Athena's taking a decentralized approach. Their stable coin, USD, Okay. It's collateralized by crypto assets. Interesting. And something called short futures positions. Short futures positions. So instead of relying on like fiat reserves. Right. They use the system of balancing crypto assets. To maintain a steady value. Exactly. It's yeah. kind of like a balancing act. It's like walking a tightrope in the middle of a financial storm. Uh-huh. I like that analogy. And speaking of storms, ENA has been surging lately. Oh, yeah. How much are we talking? A 96.6% increase in just the past month. Whoa, that's huge. What's the market cap looking like? Daily Crypto News reported a jump from $420 million to $1.14 billion. Wow, that's serious growth. And get this, in the last seven days alone, it's gone up by 45.1%. Okay, so what's driving all this growth? What's got everyone so excited about ENA? Well, it seems like Athena has been making some strategic moves. Like what? Moves that are attracting investors. Okay, I'm all ears. First, they integrated Ethereal. Ethereal. Yeah, it's a decentralized exchange Okay. built on USD, and they integrated it into their reserve management system. Interesting. So what does that mean for ENA? Well, it boosts its liquidity and overall utility. Makes sense. More ways to use ENA means more demand. Exactly, which drives up the price. Right, basic economics. And then there's Athena Labs' decision. They decided to invest $46 million of their reserve fund okay. into tokenized assets. Hmm, diversifying their strategy. Exactly. It shows investors they're thinking long-term. Smart move. Shows they're not putting all their eggs in one basket. And on top of that, you've got big names like BlackRock and Securitize. Whoa, really? Yeah, they're backing Athena's new stablecoin, USDB. Now oh, that's huge. Those are major players getting that kind of endorsement. It's a big vote of confidence. For sure. Sends a powerful signal to the market. No wonder investors are so excited. So all this positive news must be attracting some big money. It is. Daily Crypto News mentioned significant whale activity. Whales? You mean? Large holders accumulating millions of ENA tokens. Interesting. What does that tell us? Well, whale activity often indicates a bullish sentiment. Right. Because they have the resources and knowledge to do their research. Exactly. They seem confident in ENA's future. Hmm. It's not just the whales, though, is it? You're right. Smart Dex traders mm. are also buying in. Smart Dex traders. Yeah. The ones known for their profitable swaps. Uh-huh. So they're seeing the potential in ENA, too. Okay, so we've talked about the hype, but let's get back to basics. Sounds good. How does Athena keep USD stable in such a volatile market? Ah, yes. The magic of delta hedging. Right. You mentioned that earlier. Can you explain it in simple terms? Sure. Imagine a sailor navigating choppy waters. Okay. To stay on course, they constantly adjust their sails. To counter the wind and the waves. Yeah, exactly. Delta hedging is similar. Athena uses it to offset price risks. By taking short positions in futures contracts. Right. It's like a counterbalance. Helps to keep USD stable amidst the fluctuations. So it's like having a built-in stabilizer for the USD ship. Ha <laughs> ha. Precisely. A very important one. And speaking of valuable assets, yes. make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com. Okay. That's Brian with an I. Got it. Brian with an I. And get your free affiliate guide. Oh, cool. A free guide. What's it called? It's titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Okay. It's over 12,300 words of life-changing information. Yeah, that's a lot of information. It is. You just submit your name and email. And then what? And click the verification link sent to your email address. Easy enough. Where can I find this link? It's in Brian's YouTube bio. Awesome. Thanks for that. Now back to Athena. We've got the platform. We've got USD, the stablecoin. Right. But then there's also the ENA token itself. Right. Yeah. What's the point of that one? What role does it play? Well, ENA is essentially the fuel that powers the Athena ecosystem. Okay. It's used for governance. So ENA holders have a say in things. Exactly. They can vote on proposals that shape the future of the platform. Interesting. 
And does it have any other uses? It does. It also has utility within the ecosystem. Meaning? It gives holders access to various features and benefits. So it's like a membership card that also gives you voting rights. Precisely. I like it. So how many ENA tokens are out there? According to the Tech3 Foundation, there are 1.4 billion ENA tokens circulating. Out of a total supply of? 15 billion. Okay. And the market cap? It's around $1.1 billion, with ENA trading at almost $1. Not bad at all. And I heard they're boosting the staking rewards. You heard right. Coindesk reported that users who lock up at least 50% of their ENA holdings, yeah. they'll get a 50% boost in their staking rewards. Wow. That's a pretty sweet deal. It is. It's a clever way to incentivize long-term holding and engagement. That definitely makes sense. Now, can we talk about that massive ENA airdrop? Of course. <laughs> the $450 million one. That's the one. Airdrops are a great way to reward early supporters. And bootstrap the network. Right. Athena did this through two seasons of airdrops. Two seasons. Yep. Interesting. Tell me more about those. Well, in season one, users earn shards for interacting with the protocol. So the more you participated, the more shards you got. Exactly. And those shards were later converted to ENA tokens. Clever. Then came season two with a different approach. Right. Season two introduced the SATs campaign. And what was the focus there? Onboarding Bitcoin as a backing asset for USDD. So two seasons, two different approaches. But the same goal. To expand the Athena ecosystem. You got it. And all of this leads us to the ENA tokenomics. Okay, the tokenomics investing terms. Which are crucial for anyone considering investing in ENA. Let's break it down. What do we need to know? Well, PostDXBT and PoinGecko highlight a key point. Which is? Only 9.5% of ENA tokens are currently in circulation. Oh, wow. So a very limited supply. Exactly. Yeah. Which has definitely contributed to the price appreciation we've seen. Right. Basic supply and demand. But here's the thing. The remaining tokens are subject to a vesting schedule. A vesting schedule. What does that mean? It's like a time release mechanism. Tokens are gradually unlocked over time. I see. According to a predetermined schedule. Right. This prevents a sudden flood of tokens hitting the market. Which could tank the price. Exactly. A smart move to protect the token's value. So there's a big unlock date coming up. There is April 2nd, 2025. Mark your calendars. Okay, noted. Because on that date... The circulating supply will essentially double. Wow. That's definitely something to keep an eye on. For sure. It could lead to some price fluctuations. All right. So we've got this exciting new player, Athena. Right. Entering a space with established DeFi giants like Lido and Uniswap. Yeah. How does ENA stack up against those big players? Good question. Looking at CoinGecko. Okay. ENA still has some catching up to do in terms of market cap. Yeah, that makes sense. Lido's currently sitting at around $32 billion. Wow. And Uniswap, despite that recent lawsuit, I remember that. is holding strong at $8 billion. Okay, so ENA has some ground to cover. It does. But it's important to remember that DeFi is still a relatively young sector. True. It's got massive potential. Post-DXBT seems to think so. They're quite bullish on DeFi's future growth. Yeah. And if the total crypto market cap surpasses its previous all-time high, yeah. a lot of analysts believe DeFi will capture a significant portion of that growth. Definitely a space to watch. Agreed. And speaking of valuable resources, yeah. you know where I'm going with this? <laughs> Let me guess. BrianGarvin.com. You got it. Brian with an I? Brian with an I. Don't forget the I. I won't. And that free guide, 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Still over 12,300 words. You bet. Over 12,300 words of affiliate marketing wisdom. Impressive. It is. Just head to his YouTube bio, grab the link, and you're good to go. Thanks for the reminder. Now back to ENA. We've got these impressive gains, a growing ecosystem, big players backing it. It's an exciting project for sure. It is. But what about price predictions? What's the future looking like for ENA? Well, PostDXBT and Gerhard Bitcoin Strategy have offered some interesting predictions. Yeah. But remember, these are just educated guesses. Right. The crypto market is notoriously unpredictable. Exactly. We have everything from pessimistic to wildly optimistic scenarios. Of course, a healthy dose of skepticism is always good. Always. So what are some of those predictions? Let's start with the cautious one. All right. One analyst sees ENA potentially dropping to around $6.10. Whoa. That would be a significant drop. What's the reasoning there? Well, that prediction assumes a market cap of around $20 billion, which, in the grand scheme of DeFi, wouldn't be a complete failure. Good. It just suggests ENA might not reach the same heights as some of the top players. Right. So what's considered a more realistic scenario? 
The analyst at Posty XBT believes ENA could reach $12.20, okay. which would put its market cap at a respectable $40 billion. Now we're talking. And for the most optimistic prediction. The moonshot. The moonshot. Get ready for this one. Oh, yeah. They're saying ENA could hit a whopping $19. $19? Possibly even $20. Wow. That would translate to a market cap of around $65 billion. Okay, so which prediction resonates most with you? It's hard to say. I tend to focus on the fundamentals. Right. And Athena's fundamentals are strong. They have a talented team, innovative technology, growing adoption. But so many factors can influence the crypto market. You said it, sentiment regulation, social media trends. You never really know. It's a wild ride. It is. So for our listeners, what does all this mean for them? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? It is. What are the potential risks and rewards of investing in ENA? Well, let's start with the potential rewards. Okay. ENA is still relatively early in its journey, but it's gaining momentum. Right. If the DeFi sector continues its growth trajectory, yeah. ENA is well positioned to benefit. Interesting. And the staking rewards are pretty attractive. They are. The team's commitment to innovation also suggests... There's more to come in terms of features and utility. Exactly. So the potential for significant gains is there. If you get in early and hold on... But of course, there are risks. Of course. Who are the main ones to be aware of? Well, as with any crypto investment, volatility is a major factor. Makes sense. We've already seen some significant price swings. We have. And there could be more. Especially yeah. with that large token unlock on the horizon. Right. That's definitely something to consider. Yeah. Any other risks? Well, there's always the risk of regulatory changes. Oh, yeah. Changes that could impact the entire crypto market. And Athena wouldn't be immune to that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And we can't forget the competition. The DeFi space is getting crowded. Okay. Athena will need to keep innovating to maintain its edge. So high potential rewards. But also inherent risks. As with any investment. Exactly. Knowledge is power, especially in the crypto world. It is. And we've tried to equip you with a solid understanding of Athena its ecosystem and its potential. But the crypto world is constantly evolving. Always changing. It is always changing. Always something new to learn. So true. So stay curious, keep researching, and as always, happy investing. Happy investing. Now let's get a bit more into the weeds. Okay, let's dive deeper. We've talked about Athena's approach to stable coins. Right. The ENA token, its potential for growth. All very exciting stuff. It is. But what does Athena's technology actually look like? Ah, oh, that's a great question. It's what makes Athena truly unique. So tell me more. What's so special about their approach? Let's go back to their stablecoin USD. Okay. Remember how we talked about it being collateralized by crypto assets? And short futures positions. Exactly. The magic lies in how they manage this collateral. Okay, I'm all ears. What's so special about their approach? Athena uses a system of smart contracts. Smart contract. To automate the management of these assets. Interesting. The system constantly monitors and adjusts the collateral levels. Based on market conditions. Precisely. It's this dynamic adjustment that helps to maintain USD's peg. And protect it from volatility. Exactly. It's like having a 247 automated guardian for the stablecoin. Ah, I like that analogy. Right. Always watching, always adjusting. Always keeping things stable. But... How do those short futures positions actually work? They understand that we need to go a little deeper. Okay, I'm ready. A short futures position essentially means Athena is betting on the price of an asset to go down. So they're betting against the asset. In a way, yes. By taking these positions, they create a hedge against potential losses in their collateral. So if the price of their collateral falls, the profits from their short positions would offset those losses. Helping to maintain USD's stability. Exactly. It's a complex system, but incredibly effective in mitigating risk. It all sounds very sophisticated. It is, and it's all powered by these sophisticated smart contracts. So it's all automated. To a large extent, yes. Yeah. This automation and transparency is what sets Athena apart. It makes them stand out from the crowd. It does. Investors are looking for projects that are not only promising, but also built on a solid foundation. Exactly. And Athena seems to be ticking both of those boxes. It's definitely a project worth watching. Mm -hmm. Speaking of keeping things safe and secure. Oh, yes. Let's talk about BrianGarvin.com. BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. Okay, got it. He's got this incredible free guide. A free guide? I love free stuff. This one's called 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. 10 Steps. Uh, okay, I'm intrigued. It's over 12,300 words. Wow, that's comprehensive. Packed with strategies and insights to help you succeed. Succeed with what? 
in the world of affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing. Interesting. So how do I get my hands on this guide? Super simple. Just submit your name and email. And that's it. Well, you also have to click the verification link they send to your email. Easy enough. Where's the link? It's in Brian's YouTube bio. Awesome. Thanks for the tip. Now back to Athena. We've talked about the technology, the tokenomics, the market predictions. Right. But what about the team behind it all? Ah, yes, the team. Yeah. The driving force behind any successful project. Especially in the fast-paced world of crypto. Exactly. And it, Ethan's team is impressive. Oh, yeah. What makes them so special? They have experience in finance, blockchain technology, software development. Sounds like they have all the bases covered. They do. They have a good mix of skills and experience. Have they shared their long-term vision for Athena? They have. And it's pretty ambitious. So they're aiming to create a decentralized alternative to traditional financial systems. They are. And that vision is resonating with investors. It makes sense. Investors are always looking for projects that could disrupt the status quo. And Athena seems to fit the bill. It does. But it's not just about disruption. Right. They also emphasize accessibility and inclusivity in finance. Making DeFi accessible to everyone. Exactly. Regardless of their technical expertise or financial background. That's a noble goal. It is. DeFi has the potential to empower individuals. And create a more equitable financial system. Precisely. And Athena is positioning itself to be a key player in that movement. Okay. So we've talked about their vision, their goals. Now what about their accomplishments? Well, they've achieved some major milestones already. Like what? Give me some examples. Securing partnerships with giants like BlackRock and Securitite. Those are some big names. They are. It validates their technology and opens doors to mainstream adoption. It's a huge vote of confidence. It is. And then there's the successful launch of USD. Right, their stablecoin. And its integration into various DeFi protocols. So they're not just talking the talk? No, they're walking the walk. Their technology is being used in the real world. It's one thing to have a great idea, it's another to execute it. They're doing both. And they're showing no signs of slowing down. They have a roadmap for the future. They do. Full of exciting developments. Such as? Expanding their ecosystem, introducing new features and functionalities. Sounds promising, but they're not without competition. Right. Of course not. The DeFi landscape is incredibly competitive. New projects copying up all the time. Exactly. Athena faces competition from other stablecoin issuers, decentralized exchanges, lending platforms. So how do they plan to stay ahead of the game? By focusing on continuous innovation. Okay. They have a dedicated research and development team. Always exploring new ideas. Always. They're also very active in building partnerships and collaborations. Smart move. Mm. So they're taking a proactive approach to staying competitive. They are. And that's essential in such a rapidly evolving industry. The DeFi space is not for the faint of heart. It's not. It requires agility, adaptability, a relentless pursuit of innovation. And Athena seems to be embracing that challenge. They are. It will be interesting to see how they continue to evolve. And what impact they have on the future of finance. Definitely. They are a fascinating project to watch. Agreed. Speaking of fascinating journeys, yes. let's take a quick detour to BrianGarvin.com. BrianGarvin.com forward slash Brian with an I. That's the one. He's offering a free guide. Another free guide. Tell me more. It's called 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Sounds familiar. It's packed with over 12,300 words of practical advice. Wow. That's a lot of advice. It is. It's all about navigating the world of affiliate marketing. Sounds helpful. Where can I find it? You can grab your free copy by visiting Brian's YouTube bio and clicking the link. Simple enough. Thanks for the reminder. Now back to our deep dive into Athena. Okay, so we've covered a lot of ground. We have the technology, the team, the vision, the competitive landscape. But what about the ENA token itself? Right. What about it? What factors could influence its price in the future? Ah, that's the key question for any investor. It is. What should we be paying attention to? Well, several factors can potentially impact ENA's price. Duchess. Firstly, the overall market sentiment plays a huge role. Okay, so if the crypto market is bullish. We typically see a rise in the price of most tokens, including ENA. Right, a rising tide lifts all boats. Exactly. But the opposite is also true. A bearish market can put downward pressure on prices. So keeping an eye on the overall crypto market trends is important. Very important. What else? Well, regulatory developments can have a significant impact. Ah, uh, yes. Regulations. They can make or break a project. So positive regulations are good for ENA. They could be. Positive regulations create a favorable environment for investment and adoption. Which could drive up the price. 
Right. Conversely, negative regulations can have the opposite effect. So regulatory uncertainty is a big factor. A huge factor. Another important factor is the rate of adoption. Adoption of Athena's platform and USDD. Your stablecoin. Exactly. Yeah. As more people use and integrate USD. The demand for ENA could increase. Precisely. Because ENA powers the ecosystem. So the success of their platform and stablecoin directly influences the value of the ENA token. That's right. And of course, we can't forget about the competition. Right. The DeFi space is constantly evolving. New projects are emerging all the time. Athena will need to keep innovating. To stay ahead of the curve. To stay relevant. To attract investors. So it's not just about the technology. No, it's about the whole package. The yeah. team, the vision, the market, the competition. Sounds like there's a lot to consider. There is. Investing in crypto requires careful research. And a good understanding of the technology, the team, well, the market so dynamics. Don't forget the regulatory landscape. Right. It's a lot to keep track of. It is. But that's why we do these deep dives. To help our listeners understand the complexities of the crypto world. And to make informed decisions. Well, this deep dive has definitely provided our listeners with a solid foundation. For understanding Athena and its potential. It has. It's a fascinating project. It is, and I'm excited to see how it unfolds. Me too. But before we wrap up, yes. I want to remind everyone about that incredible free guide. The one from BrianGarvin.com. You got it, Brian, with an I. Never forget the I. His guide is called 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Right. I remember. It's packed with over 12,300 words of valuable information. To help you succeed in the world of affiliate marketing. Exactly. If you're interested in building a successful online business. I'm sure many of our listeners are. Check it out. You can find the link in Brian's YouTube bio. Sounds like a great resource. It is. Thanks. Now let's continue our exploration of Athena. We've talked about a lot of the positives. The potential for growth. The innovative technology. Right. But what are some potential challenges or risks uh, that, that Athena might face? That's a very important question to ask. It is. No project is without its risks. Exactly. And Athena is no different. So what are some of the hurdles they might encounter? Well, one challenge they could face is scalability. Scalability. As their platform grows and more users come on board, yeah. they need to ensure their technology can handle the increased demand. That makes sense. Scalability is a common issue for blockchain projects. It is. Another challenge is security. Ah, yes. Security is crucial. Absolutely. The DeFi space has seen its share of hacks and exploits. Unfortunately, that's true. Athena will need to remain vigilant in safeguarding their platform. And user funds. Of course. We can't forget about regulatory uncertainty. Right, that's always a concern in the crypto world. It is. Changes in regulations could impact Athena's operations. Or even its legality in certain jurisdictions. Exactly. It's something investors need to keep a close eye on. Regulatory changes can definitely throw a wrench in the works. They can. Any other potential challenges? Well, one thing to consider is the complexity of Athena's system. Okay. So their technology is advanced. It is, which is a strength, but it can also be a barrier to entry for some users. Right. Some people might find it too complicated. They might need to invest time and effort to understand how it works. So simplicity and user friendliness are important for mass adoption. Absolutely. And finally, we need to remember that Athena operates in a highly competitive environment. Right. We talked about that earlier. New DeFi projects are launching all the time. So how can Athena stay ahead of the pack? They need to continue to innovate and differentiate themselves. It's a constant race. It is. Staying agile and responsive to market changes is key. So they need to be adaptable. Exactly. The DeFi space is dynamic. And Athena needs to evolve to thrive in this environment. Couldn't have said it better myself. Well, we've explored both the potential and the challenges of Athena. We have. It's clear they have a lot going for them. But they also face hurdles. As with any project, it's all about weighing the risks and rewards. Speaking of risks and rewards. Yes. Let's talk about a resource that can help you navigate the world of online business. Okay. What is it? BrianGarvin.com. BrianGarvin.com before it's Brian with an I. You know what? He's offering a free guide called... 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. We've heard about this one. It's a good one. Trust me. This guide is packed with over 12,300 words of valuable information. On how to succeed in the world of affiliate marketing. Exactly. It can help you understand the ins and outs and build a su successful online presence. I'm sure many of our listeners would find that useful. I think so, too. You can grab your free copy by visiting Brian's YouTube bio and clicking the link. Easy enough. I'll have to check it out myself. Now back to Athena. 
as we delve further into their future. Oh, okay. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on their potential impact on the broader financial landscape. That's an interesting question to consider Athena with its approach to stablecoins. And its vision for a decentralized financial ecosystem. Has the potential to disrupt traditional finance in several ways? Okay, let's unpack that. How could they disrupt traditional finance? Well, first of all, they're challenging the dominance of fiat-backed stablecoins. By creating a stablecoin that's collateralized by crypto assets? Right, yeah. and managed by a decentralized system. So they're offering an alternative. An alternative that's not subject to the same risks and limitations. Because traditional stablecoins rely on centralized entities. Which can introduce counterparty risk and regulatory hurdles. Athena's approach is different. It is. It could pave the way for a more robust and decentralized stablecoin ecosystem. That would be a significant development. What other potential impacts do you see? If Athena succeeds in building a comprehensive DeFi ecosystem, yeah. they could challenge the role of traditional financial institutions. Like banks and lending platforms? Exactly. Hmm. Their decentralized platform could offer users more control over their assets. Lower fees, greater transparency. All the things that DeFi is known for. Sounds like a real paradigm shift in how we think about finance. It could be. Of course, it's still early days. Right. The DeFi space faces many challenges. Like regulatory hurdles and scalability issues. Widespread adoption of DeFi still has a long way to go. But Athena is pushing the boundaries. They are. Their innovative approach and ambitious vision make them a project to watch closely. Agreed. Well, we've explored both the potential and the challenges of Athena. We've covered a lot of ground. It's clear that they have a lot going for them. But they also face hurdles that they'll need to overcome. That's a fair assessment. It's an exciting project with a lot of potential. But as with any investment, there are risks involved. And speaking of risks and rewards. <laughs> I know it's coming. Let's talk about BrianGarvin.com. Brian with an I. Brian with an I. He's offering a free guide called 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. We know the drill. Over 12,300 words of valuable information all about affiliate marketing and building a successful online business. Anyone interested can find the link in Brian's YouTube bio. That's right. Now, as we conclude this deep dive, okay. what are some key takeaways or final thoughts you'd like to leave our listeners with? I think the most important takeaway is that Athena represents a new wave of innovation. Innovation in the DeFi space. Exactly. Their approach to stablecoins, their commitment to decentralization, their vision. It all makes them a project with immense potential. But it's crucial for investors to approach the crypto space with caution. To do their research before making any decisions. Exactly. The DeFi landscape is dynamic and can be risky. So knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. Informed investors are better equipped to navigate the complexities of the crypto market. Well said. So to our listeners out there. Yes. We encourage you to continue exploring the world of DeFi. To stay informed and to approach investing with both curiosity and caution. That's the perfect way to sum it up. The DeFi space is full of opportunities. But it's important to proceed with awareness and diligence. Excellent advice. This concludes our deep dive into Athena. I've enjoyed our conversation. Me too. We hope you found it informative and insightful. And as always, happy investing. Happy investing indeed. So let's shift gears a bit. Okay. Where are we headed? We've talked about the potential of Athena. Their innovative technology. Their vision for DeFi. Right. But let's not forget about the challenges they face. Right. Every project has its hurdles. So as we wrap up this deep dive, yeah. what key takeaways should our listeners remember? Well, I think the biggest takeaway is this. Yeah. Athena represents a real paradigm shift. A paradigm shift in how we think about stablecoins and DeFi. Exactly. They're challenging the status quo. Pushing the boundaries of what's possible with blockchain. They are. Their commitment to decentralization is inspiring. And their vision for a more accessible and equitable financial system. It's a powerful vision, but we need to be realistic. Right. The crypto space is still in its early stages. It's evolving rapidly. There's a lot of uncertainty and volatility. So investors need to be cautious. Absolutely. Approach this space with a healthy dose of skepticism. And a commitment to continuous learning. Always be learning. Always be questioning. Stay informed. Stay engaged. And never stop exploring the world of DeFi. Well said. The DeFi space is full of opportunities. But it's important to proceed with caution. Awareness and diligence are key. Excellent advice. Uh, and speaking of valuable resources, yeah. I want to remind our listeners about BrianGarvin.com. BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. Brian with an I. Got it. He's offering a free guide. A free guide. What's it called? 
10 steps to becoming a super affiliate. 10 steps to becoming a super affiliate. I think we've heard of this one. That's a good one. It's packed with over 12,300 words of practical advice. On affiliate marketing and building a successful online business. Exactly. It's a must read for anyone looking to leverage the power of the internet. To generate income. Precisely. <laughs> you can find the link in Brian's YouTube bio. Awesome. Thanks for the reminder. So to wrap things up, yeah. what final thoughts would you like to leave our listeners with? Athena is a fascinating project. It is. They're pushing the boundaries of what's possible in finance. But it's still early days. The future of DeFi is uncertain. But that's what makes it so exciting. It's a space full of opportunities and challenges. And Athena is at the forefront of this evolution. This has been an incredible journey exploring the world of Athena. I've enjoyed our conversation. Me too. We've covered a lot of ground. The technology, the team the vision, the challenges, the potential. It's a lot to take in. But hopefully our listeners feel more informed about Athena. And about the DeFi space in general. Remember, knowledge is power. Stay curious, keep learning, and keep exploring. The future of finance is being written right now. And Athena is playing a part in shaping that future. It's an exciting time to be involved in this space. It is. So thank you for joining us on this deep dive into Athena. It's been a pleasure. And as always, happy investing. <laughs>